What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Life Orb Lander team alongside with Choice Band Scissor. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys blow my mind with the support that's been going out across the channel. I cannot thank you guys enough to everybody who has subscribed to the channel, likes the videos, or just tunes in and watches them. But in my most recent Pokemon Sword and Shield video, for question of the day, it was what can I do to make my channel better overall? And a lot of you guys said, yo, Jeans, we're going to need those Poke Pace. We, we love the teams, we love the videos, but Poke Pace will make everything 10 times better. So for now on, every time I have the, the Poke Pace, it will be down in the description below. Starting off with this team, we got the Poke Pace down in the description below go check it out thank you guys for all your feedback on that question today it really just go a long way but starting off with this team we got thunderous in the top left corner this one is a support build everybody's been using a support build as recently and it shows because it's really really strong and it's powerful overall prankster ability citrus berry as this item thunderbolt for a stat move eerie impulse drop special attack scary face to lower speed and Leer to get that defense drop to help out allied Pokemon such as Urshfu and Landorus. Right next to him is the Urshfu with the Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects. We got Choice Scarf on this thing so we can Choice to move and get that speed boost from that as well. We got Close Combat for Stab, Wicked Blow for Stab, Sucker Punch for First Turn Priority, and Coaching so we can actually pair this up with Landers, give it that attack and defense boost whenever we feel like it. Scizor in the middle left, absolutely love this Pokemon. It is so good all around, hits really hard, and it is really quick, especially with this Choice Band. It's going to be able to hit a lot harder. Technician ability, choice ban as its item, bullet punch for first turn priority, U-turn for pivot, dual wing beat, and iron head as our final two moves. Tapu Fini right next to him, great Pokemon, good for all instances. Misty Surge and Leftovers as its item, Scald and Moonblast both for stab, Calm Mind set up, and Protect as its final move. Bottom left is going to be the bread and butter for this team. This Pokemon is going to carry our team to victory. Life Orb Landorus right here. He's going to be able to hit like a truck, especially paired alongside with this Urshfu. Hopefully we can show that off. Get some coaching rolling with that. Or we can pair him up with that Thunderous because we can Leer, get a defense drop, and just have this thing one tap left and right. We got Life Orb, give it a damage boost, Fly and EQ both for stab, Rock Slide for a coverage move, and Protect as our final move. Final Pokemon is going to be Support Incineroar. I've been using this Pokemon a lot lately, and it, it's just because he's so good. He works well on every single team. You cannot go wrong with him. Intimidate as its ability, Shuka Berry as its item so we can eat up a ground shot, Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Parting Shot, and Taunt, a fairly normal move set for an Incineroar. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Orb Landers and Choice Band Scissor team. At this moment, while I'm recording this video, we are two hours before the Nintendo E3 Direct. And that leads me to question of the day, and that is what are your guys' thoughts on the Direct? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? What games are you guys excited for that they announced? Considering I haven't seen it just yet, because like I just said, we're two hours before, but by the time this video uploads, it's going to be out, it's going to be about, and you guys are going to know everything that they announced. So let me know in the comment section down below your guys' thoughts and all that good stuff. But we're hopping into battle number one. We're going up against a Tapu Bulu team. He's also trick roomed here. He's also trick roomed uh, with uh, Dusclops and uh, Glacier. I am going to lead Urshifu. And I think I'm going to lead Landers as well. Because I can coach if he doesn't lead the trick room combo. If not, I kind of get after the Pokemon. But I am digging that. So I'm going to go into them too. I'm going to bring Technician, Choice Band, Scissor in the back. Because I really like that Pokemon and want to show them off. And then the final Pokemon, I think we go Tapu Fini. I do like Tapu Fini. I gotta watch out for that Tapu Bulu though. Because he can take uh He can take terrain control and he is grass. And he can do some some work onto my Pokemon that I have. So I'm kinda scared of that. But haven't really seen a lot of Tapu Bulus. I really want to get my hands on a Tapu Bulu team. So if you guys have a Tapu Bulu team, leave it in the uh in my Instagram DMs. My name is right below my face cam, and there's a link down in the description below. But yeah, that question of the day last video was awesome. I really did like that. I did it. I got a bunch of cool feedback. Pokey Pace are gonna now be in the uh, in the description every single time. Most of the time I can get them, so I'll just let you guys know in the video if I do not have them from now on. But we're gonna lead these two guys, and Intimidate is gonna come out here, and he might swap. He might swap. He can't hit me. He can. He can only hit my Urshfu, and my Urshfu is Choice Band or Choice Scarf. I'm, so I'm just gonna go into a Wicked Blow. There's no need to coach here. I could fly, but I think I'm just going to Dynamax and drop an Airstream. Just start taking speed and try to get rid of this uh, Dusclops. Right? Because who can he swap into? Does he have any flying Pokemon? That's my question. Pokemon. He has Landorus. Hmm. 
He does have landers with Intimidate. So I am going to Dynamax and go into an Airstream. But I don't want to go into a Quake and just have him swap into a, uh, a Landorus. Okay, that's fine. I'm with this turn. I'm digging it. Reg Lucky is scaring a little bit, but again, we're choice score. So we should be able to outspeed, and we are going to get a speed boost as well after he probably goes for a uh, an E-Web. But I don't see him taking out my Urshfu in one shot. And I see my Urshfu outspeeding him with the, with the Band or the Scarf. Let's see what happens here. No, he's just going to Volt Switch. And he still outspeeds me. That's absurd. That is absurd you took me out. That is absurd you did that much damage to me. Is he going to swap into Glacier now? And, and run a Trick Room? He does. That's GG's. Let's swap into Bulu. Okay. That is insane. Dang, we really we really need that Sash on that Urshifu. That Sash on the Urshifu would be 10 times better than that Choice Scarf. Because that, that Reg Lucky still outspeeds him, still does a ton of damage. And a Volt Switch just one tapped him. He's such a lightweight, such a good Pokemon, but he gets one tap left and right. So he does go for the Icy Wind, which is I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with that Icy Wind. Icy Wind's out and about. We have speed advantage all day. Oh, we should. I don't think Tapu Boo is outspeeding me. I could go Finny and change up this uh, terrain. But I'm thinking of going into you. I think this would be a lot better here. Go into top, uh, or go after his Tapu Bulu. We can one tap him. He does have grass terrain, but I don't think he learns grass glide, right? I don't think he does. We go for a bullet punch, but I think I'd rather choose into an iron head. Go there, and then I think an airstream should be able to KO. Try to get some more speed action going on here. Right, I think an airstream should be able to pick up the KO. Because lander should be faster than the Bulu, right? Bulu's just gonna protect. That's totally fine by me. As long as I can take out this uh this clops. I get rid of this clops, we're sitting pretty here. There's that airstream, take him out. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Okay, so Dust Clops is dead. Starting off pretty strong. We have one more turn left in Dynamax. We know that my uh my what's called outspeeds the Bulu now. My scissors, my scissors should be able to one tap it up. It hits really, really hard. Iron Head's gonna get some uh some choice band damage here as well. And he might go in the Regilecki. He's probably gonna go back into Regilecki, and then in that point, I am gonna go into a Quake. See if I get that special defense boost and one tap tap that Pokemon. And I wonder if we outspeed him. Because we are plus one. Because he icy wind and we went up two. He's gonna go out in the glacier. The glacier might protect here. Which I think it's fine if Glacier protects. Because I'm just going to go into an Iron Head, and like I said, Iron Head should be able to pick up the KO with that. And I could go into a Rock Ball. But would I rather have Speed again? And use that? Or would I rather Quake get a Special Defense Boost for a squad? I think a Special Defense Boost would be a little bit better, because we're not going to be proc and policy. And he is going to throw out the, uh, the Regilecki next turn. So there goes that Dynamax. Like I said, we outspeed him. We outspeed him now. It's gonna be so close. It's gonna be close back. Glacier might clutch up for him. He might clutch up for him. Let's just see what happens. The top of Finny doesn't sit well with the uh, with the Regilecki, so let's see how this plays out. He's gonna end up guarding. Kind of saw that coming, but I think this Iron Head should be enough to pick up the KO on, onto the Bulu. So I was like, let me slide over there. Here goes this Iron Head. Did we do it? Yeah. Oh, he's sashed. That buttery biscuit. That buttery biscuit. Sash is up. Boo's gonna be able to get off a shot. Let's see who he's going after. Horn Leech. He's gonna get back mad HP there. That's tough news. That's tough news. So I'm not, again, I'm not really worried about that Bulu. He's, he might protect. Do I read a protect from the Bulu? I think I might read a protect from the Bulu and double up into this, uh, this Glacier. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double up into the Glacier and I am gonna fly out. And try to dodge a turn here. Because I think he's going to drop the ice. Try to get rid of my landers. Yep, there's the protect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Run it. Run it. Go ahead. Fly out of here. Glacier, I need you coming on this side. I need you coming on this side. Iron Head should go first. Get some damage off on that Pokemon. Is he policied? He's not policied. Oh, and he's dropping a knuckle. Dang, man. Dang. Okay, we eat that. That's, that's fine with me. Well, I going to be able to drop over there, and I could take out the Bulu now. 
Do I get rid of the Bulu now? What's my play here? I'm not sure if I should get rid of the Bulu. Yeah, let's get rid of the Bulu here. Because he's going to go after my, uh, my Scissor once again. And what's that thing? I think it's left it. Okay, so it's eating up. It's soaking up some, getting some more HP. Bulu, I'm going to take you out. I'll say, hey, yo, see you later, buddy. Because you can't protect. And the fly's going to come down on the glacier. Do a little bit more damage. And I'm hoping my scissor can get one more turn out of this. Let's just see. He's going to withdraw the Bulu. Okay, yo, I'm with that. I'm with that. Because we might be able to take out this Regilecki here. We might be able to take out Regilecki. Let's see what happens here. Fly comes through. Built. Well, take out this Regilecki. Doom dirty. Take him out here. Take him out. Doom dirty. Take him out. Get him out of my game. Yo, let's go, Scissor. Not very effective. We get a crit. We get a crit, and he's hitting like a truck. Yo, nice, 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 nice. Here, here goes the Hailstorm. Can you go after Orlando? Okay, so we go. Yo, dude, I'm fine with this right now. I'm, I'm fine with this right now. Because that's all of his Dynamax turns right there. My Scissor outspeeds the Bulu. Bulu might protect. I gotta decide if I'm reading the Bulu protect. It's gonna be close. This one's gonna be super close. Um, I think I read. I think I just go after Glacier anyway, because I see a a, a choice band Iron Head taking out Glacier. Right? Yo, what a battle! What a battle so far. Scissors hitting hard. He's coming up big here. We got to go into you. I do have Protect if I really want to go into it. Which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of going into an Iron Head onto the Glacier slot. And... And protecting my Tapu Fini. I wonder who's faster. Okay, this that just shows that he's faster. The Surge tells the speeds. So we do get uh, Surge advantage, which is nice. But he does outspeed me. That, that's a problem. That is a big problem. Okay, we're going to protect the Finny. Yeah. Oh, dude, dude. Wait, this is a good one. <laughs> this is such a good one. We're going to protect the Finny here. And I think we just drop an Iron Head in the Glacier. That's going to be my play. Glacier is posing a way bigger threat here. Let's see how this plays out. Don't protect the Glacier. Protect the Bulu. I really do wonder what he's doing. Or if he protects both, that's a fine turn by me. Who protects? Me. That's me protecting. Are you guys going to protect or now? Glacier's going to protect. Ooh. Can you go after Finny then? Iron Head's going to get blocked. Go after Finny, please. Let's see what happens here. Horn Leech. Okay. I'm fine with that turn. I'm totally fine with that turn all day. Okay. So now I Iron Head take out the Glacier. We should be good. We should be good. I think we should be fine here. Leftovers is going to neglect that uh, hell damage. Glacier is going to get a little bit of health back from his leftovers. But I think an Iron Head takes him out. Right? An Iron Head should be able to take him out. It's going to be close. This one's going to be pushing it. Let's go Iron Head onto you. And then just go for... I say we double through onto it. Let's double up in the Glacier. If it slides over, it slides over. It's no big deal. But he's really just going to be there to use my... Uh, Willie's protecting you. Awesome. 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 Ironhead's popping over in the glaze. Get this thing out of here. Take him out. Let's go, yo. That's GG's. Your boy's gonna win it. Your boy's gonna win it. Scissor's clutching up, baby. Dude, did Scissor have all four kills or was gonna have all, all four kills? He killed the Regilecki. He killed the Glacier. Who was the other Pokemon? He's gonna kill the Bulu. And who else did he lead? Who did he lead? The Duskops. He led the Duskops. Who killed the Duskops? It was Land. Never mind. Landers killed the Duskops. But still, yo, Landers and Scissor clutching up, doing a lot of work here. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's we'll go for a Moon Blast here since it's normally effective. Run it. Run it. But I really do want to get my hands on top of Bulu team. I feel like he's a very strong Pokemon when used right. But this Scissor just overpowered his whole team. There it is. Battles canceled. Start off today's video 1 0. We can hop to our second and look for that winning record. I was so surprised in that first battle that our Urshfu got one tapped by a Volt Switch from a Regilecki. That thing is such a lightweight. I wish it did have that Focus Ash, but we chilled. We got ourselves that win. Now we're hopping into our second battle, going up against a Latios team, right? Oh no, this one's Latios. We're going up against a Latios team alongside with Indeedee, well, male Indeedee, uh, Cinderace, 
Intimidate Landorus, he has Terrakion, and he also has the Nihilego. Um, how do I want to play this one? He has a lot of physical attackers, but I actually do want to lead an Intimidate. I'm going to lead Landorus because I might want to Dynamax right off the rip and go from there. I think I'm going to lead Urshfu again and try to get that coaching maybe rolling. I want to bring that Scissor, and then I think in the final spot, we could go Tapu Fini. Ooh, Tapu Fini's good, man. Tapu Fini just works all around, but I really want that Intimidate again. Do we really need the Scissor? Or do I lead double Intimidate and not even go for the coach? I, I just like having Urshfu. I think Urshfu is really good. Hmm. What do I want to go with? I feel like another Intimidate would be great. But then I feel like this Fairy and Water typing would be phenomenal. <laughs> like, it's just... Ah. Uh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in with my intimidate. That's my plan. That's gonna be my call. We're gonna rock out with intimidate here, even though I think maybe Tapu Finny could have been the better call. We'll see. We'll see. He just has a lot of physical attackers up his sleeve. A lot of physical attackers. But we're sitting at one and zero. Well, your boy's been on a tear as of recently. I don't even know what streak we're on for winning records, but it's a good amount of videos. It is a good amount of videos. Ladia, Osa, and Indeedee is gonna get the lead, which is totally fine. I have my Urshfu rocking out here. I can just drop that thing with a punch. Do some big damage onto it. And we hit through protects, which is wonderful as well. So that thing is levitate. I gotta watch out for that. Thing's 100% levitate. I might just go into an airstream onto him. See how we can uh, roll out from there. There goes that psychic surge. They might be trying to. Actually, that thing could be sashed. He could be sashed, so in that case, I am going to double up into him. I'm gonna go airstream and then into a wicked blow. Right, Urshfu is definitely going to be able to outspeed with the Choice Scarf. As much as I want to coach, I feel like Wicked Blow is going to be the play here. Just Choice Scarf and in that, we have two Pokemon that we are super uh, super effective up against. So, solid lead with the Urshfu. I just knew I had to bring him in here. He just works so well. He just works so well, and he does a lot of damage all around. But I am digging that Scissor. Scissor is an awesome Pokemon. I remember when he came out in Isle of Armor. That was one of the first Pokemon I showed off in a video. And it got a lot of views. Like, that was one of my most viewed videos. I think it's pushing 50k right now. Which just blows my mind. Like, look, looking back at the videos, like, Isle of Armor was, like, my biggest, my high point for views and all that stuff. Like, some of the videos were getting 30 to 50,000 views. And that was insane. So, I cannot wait for the new Pokemon content to come out. So, hopefully, we can draw on some views like that and get some more viewers on my channel. Uh, I've just been having a blast uh, doing videos for you guys. It really does make my day waking up every morning, making some videos, and uh, getting feedback and commenting back to all you guys. Wicked Blow is going to drop here. Do we pick up the KO or is this thing Sash? Show me it's not Sash. It is not Sash. That is beautiful. That is lovely. We got a crit too because it's guaranteed crits. Airstream's going to slide over. I did double up into that just in case it was Sash. He's going to end up tail winning, which is totally fine because we're going to start speed boosting our own with our Airstreams here. And then I could just Wicked Blow and take that thing out next turn. I know. Uh, do we outspeed it? Oh, we just one tap. We say, hey, get out of my face. Get him out of here. We're buzzing. This team is ripping apart left and right. Last battle, win or lose this battle, we have to show off that uh, that uh, Thunders. Is that the only Pokemon we haven't shown off yet? Yeah. It's going to be the Thunders. But you guys already know what he can do. You guys already know all that stuff, that junk and things. And he's going to go in the Cinderace. That's looking a little scary. Nihilego's popping out here. We are choosing the Wicked Blood, which kind of stinks, but it's not bad at the same time. Um, What typing do I think he might change into? I think I have to stick with the Airstream, because I do not want this thing to change in the air. Right? I, as much as I want to go for a Quake, I think he's going to change his typing. And he is going to outspeed me now. I'm going to go for a Wicked Blow, and... Oh, Nihilego might go for a Rock move. Mmm. What does Jeans want to do here? What do I want to do here? Hey, let's protect. I want to go back. Hey, do I have time to do this? Guard. Now let's just go for a Wicked Blow. No, I hit the wrong Pokemon. Actually, no, I hit the right Pokemon. That's fine. We're going to go after this Nihil Lego. I don't want him dropping a Meteor Beam. That That's really what I'm scared of. Is, that, is him going after a Meteor Beam? I think what's called should outspeed. Urshfu should outspeed. Even with his tail when he's plus one with the choice scar. So I'm thinking he outspeeds at us soon, right? Let's see. You're guarding here. 
They're doing a little lovely guard because again, I don't want the meteor beam just to drop my landers. Like no problem. Airstream's gonna come through. He's gonna switch typing. Are we blocking that slot? No, he's just taking out my Urshfu. Okay. So Urshfu's dead. He's taking speed all day, which is kind of scary. And I think the meteor beam is coming across. I think the meteor beam is coming across here. Let's see. Did I make the right call with Gardner or was Guard the bad call? There's the meteor beam. Okay. We're going to be able to block up on that. And he gets to waste his power up. So if he wants to go into another meteor beam, he's going to have to charge up again. I think it's getting boosted like crazy and it's kind of scaring me. There's the block. All right, so big old block coming out there. Um, let's get this Intimidate out and about. I'm terrified right now. This is scary. <laughs> I knew that thing was going to go for the Airstream, so we did go for the Airstream. That was my call there. There goes an Intimidate. That's going to get a minus one onto the Pokemon. And I can fake out the Nihilego, no problem. And potentially take him out. Right? Do we go for that? Yeah, let's go for the Quake. Or do I go for the Airstream? Now, I'd rather uh, get the, the uh, get the guaranteed KO. So, we're going to go for the Quake. And I'm just going to fake out here. Unless he protects. Is he going to protect? He might protect. God dang, Jellyfish. God dang, Jellyfish. <laughs> I was going to use a team with Cinderace today. Because he's just so strong and I love using him. But I saw this team and I was just like, yo, let's rock out with this team. Scissor's looking amazing. And I'm glad I did pick this team because Scissor, Scissor was phenomenal in battle number one. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Why am I so stupid? Why am I so dumb? Psychic terrain blocking the fake eye. I totally forgot I was on the field. I totally forgot I was on the field. Can we eat this? We should be able to, right? Yeah, that's an easy eat. That's an easy eat. This ain't gonna show Sash. That's my question. Gleam's gonna pop here. Boys are gonna be able to eat. And is this thing gonna show Sash? That's the real question. I totally wasted a turn. I could've went for a parting shot that turn. He's no Sash. Okay, that's big. That's a big turn for us. He is not Sash. And I'm gonna see if I can get off a parting shot here. Or I might just swap into the... Uh, do I swap into the Scissor? I don't wanna make like a risky play. I'm gonna go for a parting shot and I'm gonna try to get off damage with my... Uh, with my landers. What I go into with Lando? A rock slide? Good fly. I know we're not out speeding, so. Let's go into a rock slide if we can. If we can't connect it. And I'm just gonna go for a parting shot. Because if I get off this parting shot, we're gonna get a minus one. Then we're gonna swap back into an intimidate, get another minus one. Knuckles gonna fly through. Yay. Doubling up. Or he's gonna go into my uh Landorus here. Right? Or are you going after Incineroar? That might be an Incineroar shot. Let's see. That is going to be an Incinero shot. And we do eat. That's a big eat for us. That's a big eat for us. I'm really liking that. He's getting that attack boost. That's a big eat for us. Rock Slide's going to connect. Just do not very effective damage, but still, we're going to get a little bit off there. And we'll be able to get off this parting shot, swap him, get in our scissor, and then later be able to get back out in Incinero, which is really nice. We're going to drop back. Scissor's coming in here. Uh, do I choice ban into a... My choice ban into a bullet punch. I think bullet punch might be the play for that first turn priority. His tailwind is gone, and I really want to see his speed stats. I really do want to see this thing's speed stats, or his stats in general. So he's minus one on attack, he's plus one in speed. Are we plus one in speed? We're plus one in speed, but he's still going to be able to outspeed us, which is tough news. Now, I don't want to give up, I don't want to quit. <laughs> I can quit on accident. Uh, I can go into a fly. Hmm. I think he's going to switch typing, so let me just drop a rock slide on this thing. And we're just going to drop a bullet punch. I think bullet punch is going to be our best best move. Or choice banning in, so we get some damage. I don't like this game one bit. Can this terrain end? Can this terrain end? I need it to end now. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's the only way I'm going to dodge it. How do I forget about it every single time like that? I think he's going to go after you, so I'm just going to protect. And I guess we're going to have to bullet punch again and miss. The rich choice ban into that. I could have swapped. Would have been nice. Would have been real nice. You got to be coming after Lando, right? Bullet punch going to miss. Dude, what am I doing? Like, not even seeing that. Bounce going to come out here. There it goes into the Lando slot. Playing this one really well. We're making great plays. But I don't get why Psychic Terrain always fools me out. It's just always a problem for me. 
It really is. It's always a problem for me. <laughs> Some days I'm on it. I'm like, okay, second terrain cannot do this. Other days like this, I fake out in it and I bullet punch in it. But still, we're winning the battles. We're playing really well. I feel like if I like sit down and I get that through my head, I'd be 10 times better player. All right, let's see what he does. He doesn't have protect on him, so we're going to be able to get off a nice little bullet punch here. And I think two bullet punches should be able to uh, do the do the damage that we need. Considering Technician brings it up to 60 base power, which is awesome. Or 70, it's one of those two. Or just one bullet punch. Dude, Scissor's a beast. He hits way too hard. I'm loving him with the choice band. 2-0 to get this video started. We got that winning record. We can hop into our third and look for that perfect record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We want that perfect record. We've been absolutely crushing these battles on the rank double letter. And I know a lot of people think that like, oh, I just, since I do like little skips in between my videos, that these are not back to back to back uh, battles. But you guys take my word for it. They are. They really are. The first three battles I record or the first three battles I play are the ones I show all my recording. I just cut out the middle because it saves about five to six minutes in, uh, in editing time. So the video isn't six minutes longer. So that's why I do that. I do that for you guys' sake. But we're hopping into the third battle. Look for that perfect record. I want to lead this guy. But I haven't shown him off. I said win or lose in that last battle. I want to use this guy. I'm going to bring the landers alongside with him because I can leer. I can kind of get off that way. Um, he has one Intimidate Pokemon. He does have the Garchomp. He has the Urshfu. That's a pretty meta team. Our team is pretty meta too, but we do have the Scissor. Who I'm bringing again because he has been such a beast in these battles. Then in the final spot, I think we got to go with the Tapu. Right? Yeah, Tapu's definitely got to get rocking out here. I'm loving it. I'm loving the Tapu. I do got to watch out for that Kartana because Kartana's looking a little scary here. I kind of wanted my Urshfu, but we're going to keep him in the bag. Scissor's MVP right now. Scissor's been buzzing. He really has. First battle, three KOs. Comes up clutch and one taps that uh, Cinderace. Well, pretty much one tap. So it was, it was a little lower on the HP side because we did a little bit of damage with the, the Rock Slide. And he did a little bit of damage with the uh, with his Life Orb damage. But still, we bull punch, got after that, and did a lot of damage. But he's going to lead these two guys right here. Oh, and that thing's defiant. We got to get him out of here. We got to get him out of here. He's got to go. He's got to go. Is he defiant? He didn't get the defiant boost. He's prankster. Okay, he's prankster. I dig that. He still has got to go. Let's leer up. Get that defense drop. Drop a rock onto him. Let's get rid of him first. I feel like getting rid of him first would be the better option, right? Yeah. Sounding good? Sounds good to me? Yeah, let's get rid of, rid of the support mod. I don't want him scary facing eerie impulse and leer and doing all this stuff. Because he probably has like a similar moveset to what I'm rocking out with now. So I'll get rid of him first turn. We'll get the defense drop on both of them. That's what's so good about Leer, and I don't know why more people don't use Leer, is it's a defense drop on both Pokemon. It's not just one. It's going after both, which is awesome. I absolutely love it. Well, let's see what this guy does. Is he going to protect Scary Face? Like, what, what are you doing? He's going to end up Dynamaxing the Togi Kiss, I'm thinking? The Togi Wogi? That is play? Is it Togi Kiss? Or is it going to be... No, it is going to be Togi Kiss. I was going to say, this has to be support. Because if, if, if it was attacking, it would have been defined. Because you're not going to use a prankster attacking thunders in Master Ball tier battles. Like, it's just not happening. So, we're going to be able to go first. He's going to taunt. Hopefully, we, still be able to, we should still be able to pick up this KO here. Which I'm totally fine with. Here's that rock fall. 100% should still be able to pick up the KO, even if it's Sash. Because the uh, Buffet should be able to come out in a little bit. It's not even Sash. Okay, so we know that Pokemon's not rocking Sash. Probably rocking Citrus Berry, just like me. And he taunts me. He gets to go first, which is tough. Tough news for your boy. Let me get rid of you. And are you going to go after my Thunders? Is that what we're going to see? Are we going to see Thunders versus Thunders? Just going getting after it. No, he's going to go after me. He's going to pick up Speed Boost. The Speed Boost coming out here. We have to attack now. Or I can swap. Really depends on who he brings. Sandstorm buff is coming out here. We're not Sash, so it don't matter. It don't matter. That's the worst when you're using the Focus Sash and you change weather and your focus ash pokemon takes the buff so you basically just took off the sash so he's probably gonna fake me out intimidate is gonna come out here i'm gonna still go for a max quake i still feel like we can possibly pick up the ko and i don't know what item that thing's holding but i have to go for a thunderbolt might double up into the incineroar i really don't want to proc policy let's see what other pokemon he has because maybe he has other pokemon that I can be like okay he probably has the policy no. I'm thinking the Tokus has policy. 
do the rocket out of the beer bear. So I don't want to pocket. I'm gonna double up an instant war and I'm gonna uh, get after him with quake. It's gonna be your play. He's probably gonna fake out, right? Yep, there's fake out. Mwah. That's fine. Again, I just didn't want a pocket policy. He gets a crit. That's I'd rather him get a crit on a fake out than like a max air stream. I'm thinking that we should be able to eat that. We do on two. We do on two. He gets a crit. So oh we could be a uh, scope ones. That could be his item. Nice little scope ones. He's gonna start taking speed. If we can get rid of this incineroar, that could be big, but we are minus one. Life form's gonna take us out. But can we KO? We do. Okay, so we pick up two KOs with landers. I'm a fan of that turn. I'm a big fan of that turn. We are still taunted, which I wish we weren't, because I would have eerie impulse on this Pokemon like a thousand years ago. Okay, so Incineroar goes down, he's gonna have to show his last Pokemon. And then my po my first Pokemon goes down. Fine with that. Fine with that. Waste out two turns. Um to bring out the Finny. Finny could be solid. I flinch, it just takes a little bit of buffet down. And can we save the scissor for when his uh, Dynamax turns are over? That's gonna be my plan. We're gonna save that scissor for when his Dynamax turns are over, and then hopefully our bullet punch can fly through and pick up that KO. Finny's gonna come out here, and Garchomp's gonna fly out here as well. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna protect this turn. Because I can see Garchomp protecting, and I can see uh, Tokus coming after me. So if I can protect this turn, waste out that Dynamax, and maybe get off a Scary Face next turn, and be sitting just fine. I think that's our play. Uh, how many turns left in my taunt? Let's see. Oh, one more turn. Okay. We are. We have to go after his Thunderbolt. I'm thinking he's not Sash now. I'm thinking he's Scope Lens. I'll just protect my uh, Finny. My Finny, Finny. Do, 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 do. Let's see what happens here. Protect comes out from the Finny. And I wonder what Gar's going for. Gar, what are you doing, man? Starfall's coming out here. That's going to be able to pick up the KO onto. Oh, no. We're, he's going after Finny. Finny's. That's easy. I thought. He was going to go after that. He's definitely scope lens now. Definitely scope lens. Rock Slide's coming through. Can you eat this up, Thunderous? Hopefully. Probably not. I don't think you can. He does, yo. I love you. And Citrus Berry's going to pop. Lovely little Citrus Berry. Prank's just going to be able to come out here. I can uh, drop special attack now. I can drop special attack all day. My taunt is over. It is over. Thunderbolt comes out here. Doing big damage. I'm not worried about you because I can get Scissor out in the back end. And we get a crit. We get a crit. Okay. So do I Thunderbolt? That's the real question. Do I Thunderbolt or do I Eerie Impulse? I don't think I Eerie Impulse. I really don't think I Eerie Impulse. Oh, it's gone. I think I Scary Face that thing. Or at least Scary Face to Garchomp. Yeah, I'm going to Scary Face to Garchomp. Drop that thing's speed. Make sure this Tapu Fini can uh, take him out because once this uh, move hits it's going to pick up the KO and then uh, I have Scissor in the back end for that perfect record your boy Jeans is on a tear I'm going to say it again I'm going to say it again <laughs> we're on a tear get this guy out of here get him out of here perfect record coming at you guys again oh my lord your boy is just been buzzing he's been playing so well Moonblast comes out Garchomp oh <gasps> No KO on the Garchomp. That's rough news. But I know we outspeed him now. Rock Slides. Missing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now we're bringing out the big guns in the back. You don't want to mess with the big guns. You don't know who we have in the back. We got the big guns in the back. Think I'm playing around. Think I'm playing around. But yeah, now, it's, now we're about an hour out from the Nintendo Direct. So I'm really hyped for that. I'm hoping they announce Mario Kart 9. That's all I want. That's all I want. Announce Mario Kart 9. Give me a little bit of Mario Odyssey 2 action coming out here. Show me some new Breath of the Wild 2 content. And give me a Mario Strikers Charge. Or not, not Mario Strikers Charge. Mario Strikers 3. Give me those games. We're gonna be, that's going to be amazing. That's going to be amazing. It's going to be one of the best directs of the game. But we're going to bullet punch into a kiss. Finish off this Garchomp with a Moonblast. That's GG's. Easy perfect record. Easy perfect record, dude. Scizor? Amazing. You guys want to use a fun team that is pretty meta with a cool off meta Pokemon with Scizor on Master Ball tier? Because these battles are all Master Ball tier, so it kind of showed off us dominating in it with it. Rent this team. Awesome. Very fun. Simple to use, too. It's not like some crazy text. 
We have been money on the ranked double ladder as of recently. Another perfect record for you guys. Dominated with this team and I had a lot of fun with it. The landers and that life orb was amazing. We didn't get to show off the coaching with the Urshfu because we just had better plays with it, like going in the Wicked Blow in turn one against that Indeedee in that second battle and then keep rolling out with that. But we got to show off Scissor to his fullest potential here as well. Scissor dominated in the first battle with three KOs, came up clutch in the second battle and came up clutch in the third battle, picking up the final KOs with both bullet punches. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.